हेलो एवरीबडी हेज मोहम्मद इमरान योर लर्निंग लिंग्विस्टिक्स एंड लिटरेचर विद इमरान द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज डिस्कशन इज कॉन्टिनेंटल फॉर्मलिज्म सो दिस इज आर लेक्चर नंबर थ्री इन द सब्जेक्ट लिटरेरी थीरीज लेट्स बिगिन आर टूडेज लेक्चर फॉर्मलिज्म at the same time as these developments which developments new criticism and practical criticisms which were being developed in europe so a group in europe was also turning its attention to the isolated particularities of the text what we call now formalism or russian formalism continental formalism or russian formalism so these are the two names of formalism continental formalism begin in russia why do we call it russian formalism because it was developed in russia as you may also see it called russian formalism although it quickly spread across europe with particular influence in france poland and czechoslovakia its founders began their activities in two separate groupings established just before the russian revolution so it happened before russian revolution 1917 so in 1915 roman jacobsons 1896 date of birth and 1982 he died led the newly formed masco linguistic circle so who was he roman jacobson while in 1916 the society for the study of poetic language was founded right that the language of poetry is different than the language of everyday life situation dominated by victor shelbsky and euro tenovo and boris ekhenbam So if I'm mispronouncing these words so I'm sorry because these are Russian names. Memoir and factual writing. So they believe okay Russian formalists believe that the language of literature is different from the language of journalism or the language of memoir or factual writing. In 1921 Jacobson would term this quality as literariness right the language of literature is different from other kinds of languages so much of formalism can be seen as the effort to consider how literariness functions the answer to this is through what Viktor Shevelsky term in his essay art as technique right so art as a technique 1917 defamiliarization or making strange so what is defamiliarization to make things strange something which is already familiarized you are going to defamiliarize it through text to make something strange to attract the audience attention right so poetry he argues does not use language and it's normal everyday fashion right so the language of poetry then is different from the language of everyday life situation so in poetry we use different kind of language we don't follow like the rules of syntactic structures we do not follow the rules of morphological structure so poetry has its own language right so poetry should not be written in common language but rather in its own special way that make it appear new and different so to give a fresh look or to give a new look to poetry you have to write a special you have to write poetry in a special kind of language for example you have to use a figurative language metaphor simile personification right irony uh, synecdoche or in other way decorative language right and poets have also got poetic license through which they can uh, violate and they can deviate uh, from the expected norms of language so it is constructed in a way that the practical language of everyday communication is not so everyday communication has a different structure we use for example subject verb object but in poetry we don't follow such kind of structure right and in everyday life situation we do not talk most of the time in figure of speech or we don't use language 
uh, in everyday life situation where we use metaphor simile personification or decorative language or as associative meaning have language but associative meaning and decorative language and figure of speech they are used in poetry according to formalist thinker so such linguistic newness uh, leads to a new way of seeing for the reader so in this way that it will attract the readers and the reader the reader will take interest because you are going to give a fresh look to language this is what uh, russian formalists believe and this is what we call defamiliarization something which is already familiarized you are going to defamiliarize it through language through deviation right through a different kind of language what formalists call literariness key idea defamiliarization is the tendency of literature to make language strange through the use of literary devices and structure so what is defamiliarization to make a language something which is already familiarized you are going to defamiliarize it how you are going to defamiliarize a language or to make language strange you are going to use literary devices and structure so the structure of literature the structure of particular poetry is different and you are going to use some kind of literary devices as i told you right like metaphor simile personification syntactiky and uh, uh, like hyperbole so these are literary devices and these literary devices according to formalists are not used mostly in everyday life situation or in journalistic writing or other kinds of language ekinabum outline the specific qualities of poetic language literature he suggests uses a series of literary devices that are not found in ordinary language to create its own unique speech so in literature we use literary devices and these literary devices are not used in everyday life situation so these devices tell the reader that what is being presented is not real or factual right but imaginative so these literary devices tell the reader that what is being presented it's not real or factual but this is imaginative right so that they are adventuring it may be useful to consider how literariness is signposted in different types of literary texts how can we signpost it literariness in different types of texts for example we might find it is used to locate in poetry where rhyme and meter stand out from ordinary ways of organizing so it is organized in different ways organizing language so we can also see it quite easily in experimental prose such as modernist or postmodernist novel that use language in unusual way so language is used in an unusual way where in literature not in ordinary way of speaking or writing where however can we locate defamiliarization in realist novel that in fact attempts to obscure its artistry and and state present itself as close to truth so in a uh, defamiliarization in the realist novel that in fact attempts to obscure its artistry and instead present itself uh, as close to truth so that's why they uh, in in fact attempts to obscure its artistry instead present itself as close to truth So thank you so much it was all about continental or russian formalism please don't forget to subscribe and like the channel and please provide your valuable feedback thank you so much